Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here with uh, Chris Brion uh, from France. Uh, he's a former champion and uh, former top 10 in the world yeah. in the trials, right? Long time ago. <laughs> yeah, not that long. Yeah. And uh, I saw you ride today. You look amazing on these bikes. These are all electric trials bike and uh, this would be the hybrid bike, right? Uh, it's a full electric bike, 100% electric. Um, there is different kind of bikes. It's the frame is trial bike, mm -hmm. and uh, you have two two type of ways: trial bike and escape for the tra trail. Okay. So two kind of bikes, and um, and after yeah, it's totally different. But you have the clutch also. You have uh, different power. It's a different type of uh, of riding. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I you know this is the first time I see a wet clutch on the electric bikes uh, this might be the first bike that they do it but you you have the same hydraulic clutch that you would have on a gas gas Cherco and all these other trials bike on the market it works the same right yeah it's totally the same it's, you have also the TKO so the engine r can run every time you can choose with mapping but for the clutch it's really the same sensation the same feeling mm -hmm. uh, you can take the clutch and put full power and take the rock so yeah a lot of, lot of torque so big power yeah cool. Yeah, he said we have the TK on this bike, so what it is, and I think it's really cool, like when you have your bike in the first gear and you don't pull your clutch in, the bike is walking forward, right? So that's exactly what is on an electric bike. You, you flip that switch in a, in a TK, right? Yeah. And it's like the bike is in the first gear, so you have to pull the clutch in in order for bike to stop. So some people were complaining that the feel on the electric bikes is, is kind of missing. They feel that bike is pulling without the clutch. But with this TK function, you're getting exactly the same thing. So we're getting kind of closer to the to the feel of uh, the regular engines, two yeah, strokes yeah. and a four strokes, right? Yeah, this is more for the really the trial riders because uh, you have more balance and more control of the bike mm -hmm. and uh, just change the mapping and you don't have that. So for different level, different kind of riders, if you're a novice, maybe you don't like to have this and uh, you can really control the bike also without the clutch because mm -hmm. there is a lot of torque so you just need to to ride with uh, with the throttle and uh, and you can really control the bike so different uh, kind of riders can really appreciate the bike this mm -hmm. is cool mm -hmm. and uh you got a, you got a different maps uh, i ask a lot of questions before the interview so <laughs> we both know something about the bike so we have a different maps here so it feels like uh, 125 maybe 250 and 300 would you put it that way or is it not like that it's not like that it's different because um, with electric bike you have the the, the power arrived directly so it's a different kind of uh, practicing so we cannot say it's one to five two two and all. but uh, yeah the power change a lot when the, the green is more when slippery a lot mm -hmm. uh, for the novice and the blue one it's more middle so i think for each riders you can have a really big sensation and power and the red is more for the really right try riders because um, it's hard to control but when you have the feeling on the bike after some some weeks with the bike when you control it's really really good so me for the race i use uh, blue and red yeah yeah, and I, I saw you, uh, you know, jumping all those big racks today, and you just pull the clutch in and you preload the power. Yeah. You can hear that little frequency going up, and I'll have some uh, some footage here. I'll show you guys. But uh, is it the same feeling like when you are on a two-stroke and you just uh, rev the engine and you let the clutch go? Is it the same feel or? Yeah, totally, totally the same. same. Yeah, yeah. We have less sound for sure, but uh, we we listen the engine and uh, we can wait the RPM go to the maximum. And when it's full maximum, we just put the clutch and uh, and after the power arrive. Yeah. So it's the same feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay. So this right here is a es escape, and this is a trials bike. Yeah. So this would be like a, what we call maybe a hybrid bike, right? You can jump little rags on it, but you also take it for a trail ride. You can be gone for a couple hours. What is the range on these bikes? I know they come with a bigger battery, right? Yeah, it's different because um, it's the same same bike to the race, but just more um, more battery and the seat. So mm -hmm. with this kind of bike, you can ride like around three hours in the field. Uh, depend how you ride, depend the the weight of the of the person but like every electric uh, models yeah. but um, yeah this is more you have full full race so the, the fork the suspension the power the torque everything is the same like the race but you have the seat and and um, and, and more battery so it's like uh, one one and a half more than the race one than this one the, the small battery and uh, after the trial bike it's a um, smaller battery but when you ride trial you are not really full gas so you can ride also three hours trial mm -hmm. you know so it's almost the same three hours but different kind of mm -hmm. practicing yeah. okay. and uh, you know uh, this is a European company from France uh, 
there is a big uh, problem in Europe and is also coming to U.S. Uh, noise and pollution. So the dirt bikes and trials bikes and all that are are banned one by one from different areas. And I think that's that's exactly what you are experiencing back in France and. That's uh, why you are coming up with these electric bikes, and I think that's a solution for for people who want to stay on the two wheels, but you know cannot because of all these regulations that are coming in. So, uh, Chris, what do you think? Uh, who this bike is good for? What would be the target audience uh, for bikes like this? Um, I think for everybody, because uh, you can have a really a soft bike if you choose the model down. So you can have a really a, a not power, not a brutal bike. So. Uh, some, someone novice, someone who never touched a bike, he can play with this one. And someone who make a trial or competition can also play with this bike. So it's, this is that I love with this bike, it's really open and uh, you can really choose what you want to do with the same bike. And you can share with other people also and this is really cool. Cool. And uh, you know one uh, fun thing that uh, this bike has, actually this one comes with a clutch, but this one right here has uh, what they call a regen uh, brake, right? Yeah. So actually it works like your engine brake and uh, you can pull it in uh, as much as you want. So when you pull it in a little bit, maybe it feels like your two stroke 300 uh, engine brake. If you pull it more, it's like a four stroke engine brake. And if you pull it all the way, it gives you a lot of engine brake. And what it does, it actually regenerate the power. So you are charging the battery back. Let's say you are on the trail and going downhill, maybe a yeah. couple miles. You just pull it in like half in and then you are recharging your battery. You, you don't need to use your brake, your hydraulic brakes. You're actually using your engine to slow the bike down, yeah. correct? And you have really good control with uh, with the finger, and uh, and it's put the bike really on the floor, so you can also control the grip. Um, sometimes more than the, the foot one, so mm -hmm. so it's really good to have. You have this on this bike, and it's an option on the on the bike with the clutch. So that, you can add the lever. Yeah, there is a small lever that you can use the clutch and the small lever, and it, when you take it's uh, like the the rear brake. Okay, yeah. so the rear brake is uh, on the foot. Yeah, on both yeah, bikes. Yeah, both bikes. Yeah. Okay. Each bike, yeah. Cool. And these bikes are actually uh, street legal in Europe, and uh, maybe they'll be street legal in USA too. I think it takes some. Uh, so there is some procedure for that. Uh, there is an importer here that uh, is doing this promotion uh, and uh, this demo in California today. So these bikes will be available uh, for you guys if you are interested. Uh, all right, guys. Well, that's about it for today. Uh, I had fun here on this event. This is in Enza Moto Ventures, uh, Travis, uh, España. It's an annual event. We had some pros here. We saw some uh, exhibition today. A lot of fun stuff to see. And these electric bikes, uh, I think uh, it's the future, especially if you live in the countries where uh, the pollution and the noise is an issue. Look up into uh, something like this and uh, stay having fun on two wheels. All right, my friends. Well, that's about it for today. Thank you, Chris, for the Thank interview. You Thank you and don't forget, guys, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you later.